All right, I want to show you one of the coolest things that I've come across, which is the new uh, image generation capability within ChatGPT4. So this is ChatGPT4 connecting to Dolly 3, which is an upgrade to Dolly. So in this case, what I want to show you is I'm going to pull the text out of an article. It's an article from my friend Mark, who's an organizational consultant, uh, writes for Forbes, um, one of my best friends. But I want to take his article, no changes except stripping out some of the ads, put that into ChatGPT and ask it to generate a series of images to reflect that article. So what you'll see is these aren't perfect, but they're actually really good starters. And then you can take the prompt and modify it from there. So I'm going to take you through the step of pulling the text out of the article, sending it through and modifying. So let's start with pulling up one of Mark's articles. And what I'm going to do is just come in here and copy everything out of it. And then I'll just paste it into my email client and I'll remove all the extra stuff that I don't need to put in there that might just confuse things. And I'll just try to get it down like to the basic text of the article. So I'll copy it from the article. Then I'll come into ChatGPT4, come down here and make sure that the Dolly beta is selected. And it is. So then I'll just come down here and I'll say, create an image based on this article. Boom. Then I just copy the article. Then I come down here, click on the little purple button, and it will go through that entire article. And the first thing it does is it does an explanation of what it's going to do. So it will give you three or four different scenarios, and it will then start crafting four different prompts. And what's cool is it gives you one example of a photo, another illustration, a third photo, and then one of a vector drawing. And it kind of gives you an outline of what that prompt is going to be. And then I can come in and say, okay, create those four images. And again, here, the first thing it's doing is it's recreating what the prompt is. So I like this because you can actually see and learn from the way that it's prompting. Okay, and now after a few minutes, it comes back with four very, very different images. So we can click on that and it gives us the sample image. And one of the things I like about this is it shows you how you can take a prompt and where you can modify it. So for example, part of the prompt is a confident middle-aged Asian woman stands delivering a presentation. So obviously you can modify any of those. You could say less than confident. You could say young, old, you can change the ethnicity. So this is really a starting point to think about this. This is not perfect, but this might be close and you could then modify it from there. So if we go through the, the different images, right? This is an illustration. So this is showing sort of the before and after. And again, you can come copy that and modify it. Another version of it. And a different one more along an infographic. The other thing that you see on here is get citation. So if you do need to cite this for a presentation, you can then come in here and copy the citation. You also have you know, APA uh, formats and everything else there. So if you then, let's say, for example, this is the one you want, you simply click on download, and it then downloads the high resolution uh, version to your desktop or wherever you want it to store. Since I have you here, let me show you another cool thing. All right, if we come back here, we could take that same article and say, Distill Mark's article to the most salient points. And now it should go back to that initial article. And this may be a more distilled version of it. And then you could say, based on this, create four compelling images for a post on LinkedIn. So again, if you tell it either who the audience is or what it's for, it should come back with a better set of images that are based on what it knows about that target, both user, as well as the channel that you're going to post it on. Similar to last time, I'm actually not sure if these are any better or not. One of the things I like about this is it's a good starting point for ideas.
Oh, the other thing here is these tools do a really poor job with text. This is much, much better than it was, but you can still see some areas where it just gets it very, very wrong. Any of these could be an interesting starting point. And if you wanted to, you could copy that, come back here, and then say this one. And then you could say update based on revision. It would be a diverse group of professionals in, uh, let's just say that they're on vacation on a tropical beach, engaged in a dynamic volleyball game. One individual stands at the front, exuding competence and leadership, while others, let's just say, play with puppies in the sand. So I have no idea what this is going to come up with but we'll see soon enough. So, <laughs> that may or may not be what you want, but you get the idea. And you can change it into art or anything else and just riff on it from there. All right, I hope you found that useful. Good luck and let me know what you do with it.